In this session, we are going to talk about recurring payments. There is a great question for Maine. The question is, how can I receive multiple recurring payments and allow my clients to pay for those invoices in partial payments? Let's assume that you have $1,000 a month invoice. The client will be able to put 200 here, 300 here, 500, and then complete and pay the payment. But in any case, the invoices will be recurring and every month there will be another invoice that the client can pay. So let's go first of all to our Zoho books. And in Zoho books, you will see on the left side recurring invoices. Whenever you are setting up the recurring invoice, and let me just create an edit here, you will have the payment profile, basically something that will have a description for the project or the deal that you have in place. You will have here the repetition if the invoice is going to be generated monthly, daily, weekly, it's up to you. When is the start date? When is the end date? Obviously, you can also do never expires, that it's always running. And also the payment terms. Let's say that in this case, the client will have to pay immediately whenever he's receiving the uh, invoice, but you can also have net 30, 50, net 50, and so on. So it's, it's really up to you uh, what will be the payment terms. The only thing that the payment terms will uh, impact is your account receivable reports that will show you who owes you money and i think uh, for you and it will be a valuable thing on the bottom you will have the different products or services that you are selling and then whenever you are saving the uh, uh, recurring payment it will generate invoices automatically so this basically is an engine that is producing invoices on the bottom you have this beautiful preference thing. It allows you to do three things on the recurring invoice. One, only create the invoices as draft and then you will send them to your customers. The second one will be create and send the invoices to your clients. And the third one will be if you have a credit card on file, then you can create the in invoice. You can charge the client and send the invoices to the client. So you have basically a full solution that this is awesome. I really recommend you trying it. Now, in your case, you said that your clients will pay as they go, then that will be the option for you. Whenever the client is receiving the invoice, he can pay online partial payments and therefore he is not supposed to pay the entire invoice on the spot. So probably that will be a great solution for you. Uh, just one thing to show you, if you will go to the uh, reports, then you will see the account receivables, where is it? Account receivables, yeah. So you will see all the people that owes you money, and that's based on the payment terms. So if the person is supposed to pay, for example, net 15, that means that after the net 15, it will show on the report, and the agent will start to go, and the agent will be immediately up to 30 days and then 30 days and more or something like that. So you will have here all the people that owes you money and based on that you can see how to continue with the relationship. So I hope I was able to help you in this case, Ain, and uh, thank you for the question. It's a good one. Thank you.